Hello, my name is Ru Lace. Welcome back to another indie game by the name of Richwood Road by Milk Bar Lads. A dark horror mystery game with multiple endings. Just the way we like it. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Officer Doy. Hello. This is the Grand Cross County Sheriff's Department. My name is Julia Doyne. How can I help you? Mrs. Fuzi. Hi, my name is Liu Fuzi. I'm a good, a bit concerned about my neighbor, Lisa Hughes. What seems to be the problem with her? Well, I haven't seen her in at least three or four days now. The last time I saw her, she had just come home from work at 10 o'clock Sunday. So it's, uh, what, Wednesday? Wednesday. She hasn't left her house. Her car is still in her driveway. Have you tried to contact her at all since then? I've tried to call her a few times. I knocked on the door earlier too. No answer. I'm worried. What if something happened to her? Ma'am, I can promise that she's okay, but we'll figure out what's going on. I need to know where you and Lisa live. I live at 51 Richwood Road. Lisa lives right next door, 53 Richwood. Alright, we'll have some of our people over there soon. Thank you. I'll go now, have a nice night. You too, ma'am. We appreciate your concern. June 21st, 2001, 10 p.m. ESC, Grand Cross County, Michigan. That should be us, I think. Rachel! <laughs> With such a derpy face. I got something for you to take a look at, Rachel. Oh, that's us. We are cutie. Shouldn't you bring this up with Charlotte Leahy first? Well, I, uh. <laughs> was I able to find him? Right, go on. Well, a lady named Liu Fu just called here. She says she hasn't seen her neighbor Lisa Hughes in a few days. She saw her come home from work a few nights ago and she hasn't left the house since then. Has she already tried contacting her? Since she knocked on the door earlier and tried to call her a few times? Where does Lisa live? 53 Richwood Road. Looks like someone's gonna have to do a welfare check. Hopefully not me. That road is seriously creepy at night. I guess one of us will have to tell Leahy about this. Well, I've got no clue where that dude is, so... This building isn't that big, shouldn't take long to find him. Good luck with that, bud. See you later. Look at her face. She's so smug. Let's go down. What do we have here? Ah, oh, Officer Dwayne. Julia, can't you help me find Mr. Leahy? First of all, that's Officer doing to you. And second of all, I don't know where he is, so no. Alright, first of all, I'm your superior. Yes, exactly. Second, do you look for him at all? Hey, that's between me and my magazine. You're the worst. I know. <laughs> what can you do with people like this? They know they're the worst. And they accept it. Officer... Sorry, Deputy... No, Deputy. Sheriff Duke... Can we come in? No. Uh, look at those sheets. Some piss on it. It's disgusting. Drunk. Uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> Do you know why I'm in here? Public intoxication. Y yeah. Y you know, you don't look too bad. You're trying to flirt with me to get out of here faster. It isn't working. You'll be out of here by morning anyways. Now if you excuse me, I've been looking for a sheriff. You haven't seen him, have you? Uh, 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 the, sh the sh sheriff? I think I all hear, heard him say something about going to the archives. Something like that. Yeah, the archive room, huh? They've actually been more helpful than some of the officers in, the, in this building. Yep. 
It's true. Hey, don't mention it. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs> Thanks, drunk. Helpful drunk. It's the best drunk. What's this? Conference room. Let's check the conference room. Uh, looks like somebody didn't clean up here. I wonder who it is. Dwayne. Ooh, something shiny. Okay. So now that I know things shine when uh, there's interactors, interactables on it, I'll press spacebar less. I'll, I'll interact with things less, I think. Looks like there's an archive room key on Leahy's desk. Hope he doesn't mind me taking it. Unlock the door of the archive key. Oh, that's the... <gasps> I don't want to go in yet. Let me out. Thank you. This should be the toilet, right? I can't leave yet. I need to talk to Leia about situation. Oh, okay. That's the back door, I guess. Sheriff? Sheriff! I've got to wait too many things sitting here. I wonder if the sheriff is a competent one or not. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> Sunglasses in the inside. Oh. I can kind of feel like what kind of guy he is. Ah, shit. Where is it? The Sheriff Lee. Let's give, give him a really gruff voice. Oh, well, if it isn't, if it isn't Deputy Rachel Collins. How did you get in here? You left a key in your office? Right. Ah, that I did, Rachel. So, uh, what do you need? Well, Officer Dwayne told me she got a call from a woman named Liu Fuchi. A neighbor, Lisa Hughes, hasn't left her house in days. Says she hasn't responded to any of her calls or answered her door at all. Huh. Where does she live? 53 Richwood Road. 53 Fishwood Road? <laughs> exactly what I thought it would be. Sorry. <clears throat> 53 Richwood Road. Rich. Richwood. Ah, I see. Well, I've got nothing on my plate right now. Let's mosey on over there and see what's happening. Alright, I'll be in the parking lot. Ooh, that's really dark. It's almost 11 o'clock. Shouldn't be too much longer before we get there. Richwood Road. Well, as long as I live here, I've pretty much only heard bad things about that road. Why is that? You know, rumors about Rachel Road go back a long way. Some decades back, a fellow was found strangled to death just off the side of Ridgewood. A couple of other cases similar to that popped up in the area shortly after. The culprit was never found. State police came in and scrapped for DNA and everything. Came back with nothing. Sheesh. Well, don't let it scare you. Odds are that this Lisa lady got a call and decided to hibernate for a few days. Still, though, hearing about stuff like that isn't exactly comforting. Well, you know, you should expect to do this kind of stuff as an officer. Shouldn't really expect all that much comfort in this line of work. Yeah, I know. It just isn't really the sort of thing you want to hear before a wellness check. You've got a point there, HR. Eh, but really, I feel like things here will turn out fine. Let's hope so. I hope so too. Looks like all the lights in the house are on. Somebody must be home. Lisa, open up. Open up, I say, Lisa. Can you move? Oh no. No one's, huh? Creepy music. Guess we'll have to find another way in, right? Yep. Oh. Police scanner. Sheriff Leahy. Sheriff Leahy, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What do you need? We've got a situation down here at Dale's Bar. Ah, uh, are you gonna leave it to me alone? Another drunk. Some drunk idiot started waving a gun around and now a bunch of people are fighting. We need your help. I'll be there in a minute. 
All right, see you then. Goodness, it is us. Just us. Sorry, Rachel, but ah, uh, <laughs> these things at the bar is a bit more of an immediate concern. It's fine, I get it. I would just have to find a way in my uh, by myself. Everything goes well. I'll be back up with you in a couple of hours. Just get going. I'll see you later. See ya. Oh, and before I go, it's dark out here. Take my flashlight. <laughs> Thanks, lady. I'll probably need it. No problem. I'll be going for real now. You walk so slow, man. As this is just up to me now. Press F to toggle the flashlight on and off. Come on, come on. That's not how a flashlight works. Anyway, I'll take it. Looks like Lisa hasn't checked a mailbox in a while. That's a bad sign one. Bad sign. Chop tree, nothing interesting. Let's check the trash. Did she take out the trash? I don't think Lisa would hide a spare key in the trash can. Oh, we're looking for a spare key, huh? Is that a... Is, is that a doll? Ooh, I hate dolls. I fucking hate dolls. It's a gnome, okay. We don't have gnomes over here in my, in my country, so... I don't get too much horror feeling from this thing. A garden gnome with no garden, huh? Looks like there's something underneath it. This must be one of the most suspicious patch of dirt I've ever seen. Stay safe there, gnome. Wait, I was trying to investigate the sand. The, the, the dirt. The dirt. There's definitely something buried under here. Under there, I just need something to dig it up. Use your hands, lady! What's wrong with using your hand? This might be useful. What do we got? A shovel! Of course! Good for digging. That doesn't look like a shovel to me. But alright. There was house key inside that hole. Like who would hide a spare key under under the That means if you need the spare key you have to dig it up. It's kind of weird. Alright. I locked the door with the house key. Well, in boys it looks similar to the police office can we shout or something miss what's the name again who are we looking for S -S Sarah Hughes I just remember Hughes miss Hughes mrs. Hughes are you here are you back home nothing worth nothing what nothing worth noting, right? That's a big room. It's comfy, but I got no time to sit around. Something on the floor. What's this? It's a copy of Live Hard. Oh, Die Hard. I see. I've never been too big a fan of action movies, but I like this one a bit. Mm -hmm. Nothing of interest here. What do we have for the trash? Empty. A mirror. This mirror is giving me the creeps. There are mirrors in the living room is kind of weird. Unless she's a super kink. Unless she's super kinky. It's dark here. Fireplace. This fireplace looks like it's never actually been used. What's on the floor? No time to rest right now. I'm not talking to the sofa. But we hate you as copy of Caddyshack. I was really young when this came out, but I remember my dad loved it. I have no idea what that movie is about. Caddyshack. Yeah, it's not my time. It's not from my time. Surprisingly clean. Still no sign of the tenant. Surprisingly clean. Are you gonna say the same thing? Yep, you're gonna say the same thing. Trash! A trash shows a person's personality. Lifestyle, I'll say. Go through the, a person's trash. Oh, like exactly this. This is a trash, empty wine bottles. 
You know they are alcoholic. You find condoms. You know what they are. It looks like Lisa's done some drinking over the past few days. Seems like three bottles. Four days. Still no sign of the person. What about the plants? Poor thing looks like it hasn't been watered lately. Ooh, that's more bad news. That means no one's been around. No one's uh, no one's alive, most likely. It won't turn on. I'm trying to check this thing. Go, go, uh, Ghostbusters on VHS. I was pretty scared of this one back when it came out. I was a lot younger. All right. This should lead to the entrance. I guess this leads to entrance. Empty. Let's get a good grasp of the... Um... Oh, I passed through this one. Let's get a good grasp of the map. Looks like this store is locked. What a bet. The body's in, in here. $10. It's as much as I want to bet. That's the toilet. Okay. Nothing worth noting. Something here. Reservoir Wolves. Great movie. There's a lot of movies all around this place. Like VHS, tapes, DVDs on the floor, which is kind of weird. Oh, holy! This house is uh, quite big. Doesn't look like there's anything actually in here. This should lead to the um, TV room, I guess. Or living room. First one. Toilet. These have got some good fashion sense. Oh, sorry. Laundry room. Another VHS. Why does Lisa have so many of these? Exactly. But this time, you, you're not telling... Okay, looks like a copy of the movie Cerulean Velvet. Red Velvet, I guess? I remember not being able to sleep the night that I watched this. Quite a lot of horror movies. I noticed. Washing hands. Hands washing bin. Why does Lisa have so many of this? Oh, okay, she's talking about the laundry thing, or dryer. What is Lisa? Isn't this like... Flip? Like the back to the front? No? This kind of indicates there's a lot of people living here. This one leads to the toilet. Toilet. The washroom. Shoes. One shoes is slightly off. Slightly... Yeah, what do you call it? Slightly ajar. What's this? A safe, huh? Huh. Cool. There's a note taped to the side of the safe. Note to self. There's a spare key to a second floor in here if you ever need it. If I forgot the password in the future... Ah, oh, that's why there's so many movies. It's the initials of the titles of my top 5 movies. And don't forget to write them in alphabetic order. You're welcome future me, past Lisa. So I guess the second floor it should be locked then. Alright, alright. Well, here comes the, the question. What's a favorite movie? Like, uh, how does... How do they rank? This one is locked. This one should be locked as well. Alright, so let's go check out the movies. I think I got all the movie titles. It's five. Five of them, so I guess should be easy. Yeah, five words. Um, actually, LCGCR. Doesn't seem to form anything. Let's see. LC. G C R. Hmm. There's a spare key to the second floor. If I forget the password in the future, it's the initials of the title for my top five movies. And don't forget to write them in 
alphabetical order. So does it mean... There's two C's though. Alright, let's try this. Maybe... C, C... A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, I, L, L. So it should be G, L, R. Yeah, got it. <laughs> got it, that's good. That did the trick. I got the second floor key from the save. That we do. Anything else inside? Nope. Second floor, here I come. I locked the door with it. F2 key. Ooh, it's still dark. Anything in here? Doesn't look like there's anything actually in here. I'm kind of scared. Check out this room. Let's go from right to left. Alright, empty. Nothing worth noting. Doesn't seem like there's anyone. It's been used out a bit. Looks like it's barely been slapped in. Must be a guest, a uh, guest bed or something. But the corner is slightly pulled up. I beg to differ. Uh, I forgot what's our character's name again. Yeah, I don't know what our character's name again is again. Oh, Rachel, deputy in the Rachel. Nothing of interest here. She must be rich though. Lisa's. Okay, all these clothes. A whole room dedicated to just clothes. Are you kidding me? This one's empty. A bookless bookshelf. Strange. Ah, hidden things behind it? Maybe. Looks like this door is locked. This is the toilet. There's a few empty bottles of codeine here. What does codeine do? For, for wounds? Sterilization maybe? I don't need to use that right now. Nothing worth noting. Nothing worth noting. Uh, okay, I didn't find anything worth noting up here apparently. <gasps> It sounded like it came from downstairs. Oh, look at her face. Goodness, she's terrified. Okay, let's check downstairs. Is this is, is this gonna be that kind of like chasing game? The the rooms are circular. It's it's a it might be. The rooms are um accessible. How to say it? Everything is connected. This might be a chasing horror game. I don't like those kind of games. I hate the feeling of being chased. You guys cannot see it, but I have fucking goose bumps. Fucking hell. Something came out of this room that's locked before. So someone is alive here. Something is alive in this house. Still locked. So they came out, locked the door, and go to the living room. Let's do this. For fuck's sake. Good lord, what happened in here? It was bright before. The damn mirror is broken. I found a bedroom key on the ground. God, what happened to this thing? Someone broke it. The thing is, they broke it and that's it. Where's their footsteps? Did they went into the mirror? Alright, let's move upwards. Unlock the door with the bedroom key. Fuck no. <laughs> what the hell? Why is that so dark? For oh, fuck's sake. Uh, uh, maybe take a break. 
for fuck's sake. I think that's a good place to stop. I need to calm my nerves a bit. I hate those kind of rooms, just pure darkness. Fucking hell, what's the use of the fucking flashlight? Uh, we'll come back next episode and we'll explore the dark room. Thank you for watching and join me back on the next one. Peace.